Okay, pile number one, if you chose pile number one, clip number one, then this message is for you. First of all, I've already staged the area. And really, first of all, first of all, I wanna thank you guys for stopping in and checking out my videos. Without further ado, here we go. So, capture the mind, capture the attention. Show me what I need to see for those that chose clip or pal number one, please. Show me, capture the mind and capture the attention of their intended and show me now. And this is for those that are only 18 and over. Okay, no minors allowed, even though we see minors featured here. Interesting. Five of swords. Some game playing, perhaps, okay? So maybe this is saying that the way to capture your intended or the person on your mind, your spouse, significant other, your soulmate, I heard stillmate. <laughs> So anybody that you're in a relationship with or situation with, okay? If you have nobody in mind, the, these messages are probably not going to resonate. This is going to include also people that are having a hard time in their sex life, okay? <clears throat> so how to capture, capture the mind and capture the attention. Five of Swords. Some game playing. Some doing things that are unexpected, some perhaps underhandedness, um, and it can be as innocent as, okay, wearing a perfume that you know drives your significant other kind of crazy, or if they have to go on a business trip, leaving them with, oh, um, <clears throat> you know, I prepared this wonderful feast for you, and I'm going to eat it off of you, I don't know, whatever. But leave them with an incredible memory that they can really savor when they go. Okay, just a couple of ideas. And the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so this gives me more information about this card. So <clears throat> first of all, again, this is an 18 plus. This is not for children. Please don't. Um, if you're under 18, click off. If you're easily offended, click off. If you don't like things of a sexual nature and a little bit crass and a little bit off the beaten path, click off as well. The rest of you guys can stay. And so what I'm going to say is basically, I feel like maybe your person is kind of preoccupied by other things, maybe not paying attention to you, not even thinking about it, or the steam or the light or the spark has gone out of your connection. <clears throat> Mostly for anything I feel like this could be because you guys have been together for a while, but I also feel like this can be with typical life um, life issues, you know? And for a couple of you, I feel like it could be a testosterone issue. Perhaps they're a little bit older and they have a testosterone issue that most people um, do struggle with. I'm trying to... <clears throat> okay, here we go. So for others of you, it's going to be... Um, an issue with the female body. And so again, consult a professional, but make sure that all of your hormones are being checked out and everything is on spot on so that you don't confuse um, lack of activity or, or lack of interest for something um, that's, you know, kind of like somebody's not interested in you per se, but maybe it is a chemical thing <clears throat> or a situational thing. Like this person appears to be very focused on business. And um, <clears throat> seems to be in the young, a company of younger people. So perhaps it's, it is an age thing. Perhaps you feel like this person is um, interested in people that are younger than themselves. I'm not talking inappropriate. It's going to, you know, once again, I mean, use your brain. <laughs> so we're talking only people that are interested. If he's 40, then... He likes the 23 year olds, 25 year olds, things like that. That really isn't, I kind of struggle with that too. I don't feel like that's super appropriate. All right, so here's an image warning. Some of these images can be a little bit much for some of us. So here we have, okay. So I first thing I'm being drawn to is the backbiting here with this dog. And it seems like somebody's holding the dog. And um, 
Yeah, it seems to be like she's kind of walking away, almost like getting dressed or undressed. And this person is a little bit like backbiting. So maybe you guys have had some issues with like after you're intimate and then um, there have been some harsh words or things that are like not really flattering or helpful to your relationship. I don't know. But I am uh, seeing that definitely like I feel like they appreciate your breasts or if you're male, your pecs, um, that kind of a thing, your chest and your strength and just your overall beautiful lines on your body. Now, I feel like this is saying almost that your partner can be double-minded, okay? Because on the one hand, they're like, okay, I want you. And then you um, really try to make that work and kind of give yourself into the situation. And then all of a sudden, they're backbiting and it's like, that's not good enough or it's not what I wanted or whatever. So I feel like this person can be dualistic in their mind, which is perhaps why you need to sort of, I hate to say play a game, but a little bit play a game. Hey, okay, we're going with this one. <laughs> play a game in order to really win his mind or her mind and we're going to come to this card in just one second fascinating um but how to do that basically what i'm saying right here is that they may just say okay this is what i want i just you know want to be able to have sex on a regular basis or whatnot and then they turn around and like backbite you like it's not good enough, okay? And the reason why I think we can fix this situation or at least change it or really work on capturing the mind, capturing their attention is that you can actually, again, go into the game playing mode. Maybe you can start like all of a sudden surprise them in cosplay or surprise them um, when you have a robe on and they think it's going to be just kind of your regular sexual thing and all of a sudden you have like a bdsm outfit on underneath that they never expected okay so maybe perhaps some of you guys get your belly button pierced or something like that of course you have to do within range of your comfort your level you never want to do something that is outside of your comfort zone just to please another now here we go capture their mind and capture their attention so if you see this is kind of alluding to it seems like he's uh, almost like a knight wearing this armor and it seems to me that um she's definitely taking control so i feel like if you're just someone who um traditionally in your relationship if you're looking just to spice things up you have fallen into kind of like a pattern i feel like their mind is kind of engaged with the game thing so i feel like when they're getting dressed for work and things like that right when they're ready to kiss you go out the door um you could just drop all of your clothes and sort of kind of surprise them and get on top of them or on top of her things like that or really um i would say like even drop their pants and please them before they leave or whatever the case may be i don't know um that is for you to decide but again the creativity element is here the cooperation element is here and let me say this is not for everybody of course but this might be even suggesting to bring someone else into your um i want to say marriage bed it's so old-fashioned right <laughs> into your um, sexual relationship so it could be that um, you have a friend or someone in mind that you want to bring into the mix. Of course, do that carefully and only if that is your thing and you're totally ready for something like that. Um, but that would be something. Um, or they could watch you and be the director and they can watch you with somebody else. Um, so that's another idea for one or two of you, not for everybody. And then there's another thing where perhaps you could be like, okay, you're on business trips all the time. Um, I want to FaceTime you. I want to Skype. I want to do whatever and have a meet. Like I want to see your face. And when you do that, then you can actually, um, perhaps dress really provocatively and be really extremely sensual or just even eating a dessert with a lot of like noises and a lot of like super enjoyment in front of them and make them wonder what the hell's going on, that kind of a thing. Just be really playful and creative in how you approach it, but just do things that you've never done before. Um, you could even send them like a picture of you kind of being collared or in a submissive pose and um, saying like wishing you were here or I can't stop thinking about you, master, what would you like? or you know, the other way around, you could play as a dominatrix and um, 
send them a selfie or her a selfie with you um, holding a flogger or a collar or even a dog collar and say, you know, I'd love for you to be wearing this right now and I'd love for you to service me or whatever the case may be. I just looked at the camera and I saw 1010, so to me that indicates um, it is... <laughs> It's a very spiritual number, but it's a number of endings, I feel. And it's also an ending of new beginnings. But if I add the, you know, the 1010, it's going to reduce to number two. And with that, I feel like this is about reclaiming your personal power. And you have to do it within the boundaries that you're comfortable with, again. So you want to change things up, sort of like giving them what they think you're going to give them, but then with a mega twist, <clears throat> okay? Like... Anyways, that's where we're headed. That's where we're headed with this conversation. <laughs> so what else do we need to know for pile number one? Capture the mind. Capture the attention. The biggest thing is to keep it moving. Don't try the same trick twice. Um, this person needs to be constantly like entertained or constantly like intrigued. So the best way to do that is... Um, you know, to, I mean, doing what I already told you, some other ideas, you can pour honey on your legs and just uh, tell them, you know, send a small video. You don't have to include your face because guys, okay, you know, in this day and age, nothing is off the internet. Once you film it, you're done. Like expect everybody to see it. So if you don't want this stuff like out in the open and you want to zoom in really close and that way, if it does get out, deny, deny, deny. <laughs> Okay, I'm just saying that for like one or two of you guys, okay? But that uh, you could actually pour honey on your legs and just start really like centrally rubbing it and saying, wow, look at the new skin therapy that I found. But interestingly enough, it's so warm and sticky or whatever. I mean, you want to talk a little bit dirty and send them little snippets of that. But don't give them the whole enchilada. Just... Um, you can even film maybe like a whole session and break it up into really small tidbits and be like, yeah, well, you're on a week long business trip and you'll get the next snip like a day from now or whatever. So rationing and kind of more taking control and um, showing that you have like a desire for yourself, your own physical self. Th those things might help your situation. What else do we need to know about pile number one? Please show me now. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And interesting, I do feel like this person is just sort of like needing a lot of attention, a little bit ADD, but I have a lot of green in the background here, which to me indicates love, okay? Um, your heart chakra. And I feel like in some ways, perhaps, maybe in this connection, situationship, you've been maybe untouchable um, and kind of guarded, protected. And this person just wants to kind of like wonder a little bit. It's like serving the queen is a knight is like beautiful just to be able to like day in day out kind of like serve your queen but also kind of like give them that motivation to get a glimpse of what's underneath underneath the cape or underneath your robes whatever <clears throat> so things like that okay so let's get a couple more messages before we move on oh my gosh okay so this jumped out and i'm gonna take it and hopefully again if you guys are offended so sorry but this is what we're doing. So this is the one of Bastoni wands. Bastos. Baston. Okay, you get the point. But anyways, <clears throat> this could be really stating that perhaps your person would be really intrigued and shocked to find that you have a great pleasure for his member or just expressing like how much you miss it or if you have any pictures or any video that you have done with your partner before to pull those parts up where it's almost like um, a dick worship or whatever and just seeing like how much how into it you per like personally are and even if it's just through memories if you don't have any pictures or uh, having like film uh, again um, your discretion but showing them pictures of what kind of like marital tools or relationship tools you would like to purchase 
um, saying, yeah, I would love this Delta. This looks kind of fascinating. What do you think? Because I miss you so much when you're not here. And um, I want to think about you while I use it or I don't know. So every situation is going to be different. Um, and you, I feel like, should intuitively pick what it is, obviously, that resonates with you and your current situation. Last message for pile number one. Capture the mind. Capture the attention. Show it me now. It's funny because I saw this before. I saw this before and I was like, yeah, I want to mix the cards. So I want to make sure that we get the correct card for you. And again, this is about, you know, experiencing a lot of pleasure and opening up. Sorry, my windows open up. I don't know about my neighbors <laughs> listening. So, <clears throat> um, and this can be talking about how you're willing to put in the work, how you're willing to try different things, how if it's been a while since you've tried like, you know, having sex from the back or things like that, but how they just want that control over you to feel that you're losing even control or vice versa. And so I feel like the, the level of energy that you put into this, um, you know, doing simple things, but in a creative manner, having it well thought out and to make sure that it's like canalizing and changing it up for your person is going to really, really help your situation. And once again, it's everything to your comfort level. If these are not your things, you're not going to be comfortable doing them. Um, and it might just totally backfire. So go with what your gut tells you. Okay, now for your last message from my pal number one. Share with me now. Capture the mind and capture the attention. Yes. Awesome. So the Hierophant. And uh, so this could be that you really, I mean, when they're out and about, you totally shock them by um, putting on like a naughty nun outfit or a like a hierophant or like a priest outfit or something that's really kind of edgy and I heard freaky I don't think it's that freaky but okay um, unconventional something that suggests that it's like you should be really pious in thinking about spiritual things. And yet, what's really on your mind is this, okay? Or even better, focusing on them, okay? Even if it's a male-female connection, a lot of um, same-sex uh, partners wind up using like dildos or even, um, you know, regular partners it, it doesn't make a difference everybody can use them so use your imagination but the whole point is to be totally unpredictable i think is going to be key for you and uh, just even purchasing like the top of the habit and wearing like a really slinky bra and you take a picture of that in your face or sticking your finger in your mouth or something suggestive, equally suggestive, um, might really serve to spice things up for you. So I hope that that helped. Um, if not, I hope you were at least amused, okay? And if you like this kind of reading, do smash that like button, let me know um, if I should continue readings like this. If you don't like them, let me know as well so I know what type of contact you enjoy, content you enjoy. Okay, here we go. So much love to you and namaste. Hi, pile number two, this message is for you. So welcome, you repeat offenders. I want to extend a warm welcome to you. And for those of you that are just stopping by to lurk or peek or see what's up, however you want to call it, welcome as well. I hope all of you find exactly what it is that you need, whether it's helpful information or amusement. It matters not, right? So here we go. So for pile number two, for clip number two, Oh, hi. <laughs> hey. Okay, we're taking it. Oh my gosh, we're taking two. Of course we are. We're taking two for pile two. Why is this happening all the time? Okay, check this out. You can't make this up. You saw I mix the cards. I had intended on choosing one card. We have the star. We have the star for you, okay? And we have the Hierophant. I love these cards, by the way. I'm totally in love with them. So, how do we prop these up? I was really meant for one, but we're improvising because that's how we do. Okay. 
So first thing I'm gonna say is that I feel like this might be somebody who, <laughs> okay, this is on top of your mind. This could be somebody that you are not in a connection with per se. This could be somebody that you are dreaming about or desiring. Now, these readings were initially intended for people that are partnered or in a situation or have some kind of a sexual, uh, I don't want to say potential because that sounds condescending. Okay, I have no sexual potential. I'm not dating or seeing anybody. Um, but <laughs> you have to kind of put yourself out there in order for this to happen, okay? So anyways, uh, the star could be even just deepening. This could even be saying what I desire is a deeper commitment from my loved one. The one on the top of my mind, the one that comes to the forefront whenever I think about readings like this. The reason why I clicked on this reading outside of just curiosity or sheer horror or checking out what kind of nerve I have because that happens too and I don't blame you <laughs> but I do feel like this is just pointing over to okay we're committed like we're in a commitment and now what a situation ship or even a complication ship it's like a desire that is even more elevated than what you currently have at your disposal and we're going to see where this goes okay because the star is just really shiny I feel like this is almost saying that I want things to be shiny, polished. I want things to, so maybe you're in a relationship that you've been um, together for some time and you feel like it's time to hit the next step. It's time to hit that commitment um, and things just feel like they're stagnant, dull, and it's almost like silver that it tarnishes and needs polishing once again, okay? I also feel like you may be a mystic yourself. You may get downloads from spirit, from celestial beings. You might be somebody who is actually uh, quite the catch. And yet you're feeling like, okay, why do I have to tell you? This is what I want. I want the commitment. So let's see where this goes because we're here for uh, information on capture the mind and capture the attention. File number two. Capture the mind, capture the attention, and show me how. Okay, two as well. Here we go. Okay. Cavalier. Caballo. Interesting, it just says caballo. That's just like, as far as I know, horse, but maybe a different language. Okay. The night Ridder, the night Rider. Okay, so maybe some of you guys are like old school and like to watch Night Rider, or you have um, watched Night Rider before, and that was something that you felt like was kind of sexy or appealing, or your partner did. This is for really old school people like me. Otherwise, for the rest of us, this is going to talk about um, just having quick and hard encounters, like in even situations where you just feel kind of like a little bit. It could be even like used or abused. I feel like this person is just um, squishing this person's breasts. And I feel like it's almost like a disregard for what it is that her body is feeling. It's like I'm going to give you pleasure and pain at the same time. So you guys could be like um, sadomasochistic or... Even your partner might be a little bit sadistic or sadism might be in some way referenced here. And this is just like, I get pleasure from not only giving you pleasure, but also inflicting some pain. And uh, it doesn't have to be like anything. Obviously abuse is abuse, get out of it. Okay, I'm just, but for the rest of us, I'm just gonna say that this could be just like even um, wanting to have sex with you and not even prepare you like on the run on the move in the car in the back seat or i gotta go to work quick you know drop and give me five <laughs> i don't know <laughs> any kind of a thing like that okay um i also feel like you know the phallic symbol is going to be really important but also even looking at your ass they want to be able to look at your butt and your behind so we're going to see how we can apply this right, right here um i feel like even this could be like changing things up or um this is just saying that if this is your kind of a thing and you do, do derive pleasure um, like right when you're even about to climax to have a little bit of pain it could be just like a pinch or a kind of a smack or something like that and this is not for everybody again if it's your thing it's your thing if it's not it's not okay um this could be that you kind of direct your partner and kind of surprise them and um maybe grabbing that hand and 
putting it around your breast and kind of applying pressure however you want, if that's what you want, or it could be grabbing his other hand, putting on your butt and having him squeeze, whatever your thing is, or even and really helping this person's hand kind of grab your hair and pull it if that is your thing as well, right, as you're about to come. So this is going to hit literally differently for everybody. Um, <clears throat> Uh, just keep in mind that if you capture the mind, you do capture the attention. What else do we need to know about call number two? So now, look. So this is, once again, something about holding the breast, holding the breast. And if you are even in the same sex kind of a situation, regardless, this is about them wanting for you to even back up on top of them and a lot to do with like your ass. It could even be um, a butt play, whatever that has, you know, use your imagination. I mean, I can't tell you everything. <laughs> and so this could even be um, things that kind of like blow your mind or blow their mind. And look at how this person's like holding a mirror here. They want to see from every angle. They want to feel you from the back and they want to see what's going on and what it looks like in deep detail. Um, they also would love to catch you in a form of like undressed or haste as well, but not fully like naked because that's something that you expect, I guess. So I feel like these people want to do it outside for one or two of you. They want to do it somewhere where um, it sounds really weird, but it feels like a funeral thing um, where they have like maybe in a cemetery or have sex in like uh, a hearse or in a... Um, a coffin it could even be that for some weirdos like us you know and it could be even saying that I want to have sex and not care allow uh, people to watch as they please but having um, sexual encounter like at the zoo or uh, when you're supposed to be like out for a walk and things like that on the park bench anything like that okay so you could really discuss these things in detail with them and uh, <clears throat> is capturing um, their mind is saying something like, you know, I can't wait to get you home or I can't wait till you get here. I'm going to tear your you know, clothes off or it could be simply, you know, playing at dinner and then they come over and you're stark naked and you have to have it like right then and there, that kind of a thing. Um, so however this appeals to you or suits your narrative look at the horse the horse is kind of like shocked but then the horse is also turned on what's up with that i don't know so what else do we need to see about capture the mind capture the attention and show me now again we have some looky loos so this could be three of spade yeah, three of swords traditionally like heartache, heartbreak, and I feel like this even falls in line with like the little bit of pain. And again, you guys, I'm not saying this is like abuse is never okay. It's only if this is okay with you in a sexual way that <clears throat> it could be involving um, perhaps things that kind of, uh, you know, shock you at that last minute, last minute when you're having a climax and they want to inflict pain on you or vice versa, you want to inflict pain on them. Or I had like a friend tell me that one of the most interesting encounters that happened to them is that after they had um, sex with their partner at the time and um, after she climaxed, she reached over and slapped them in the face. I thought that was kind of funny. And so he felt like that was a real turn on, but whatever, whatever thing is, that's your thing, right? So for pile number two, I feel like this is just undressing and becoming even more authentic about what it is that you want in the bedroom, even if it's shocking. Look, it's like, I'd love to sit on you. I want to smother you. I want to, um, do it in places that's totally inappropriate. I still feel, sorry about that, um, kind of like funeral parlor or like um, places that are, you know, like in a church or church parking lot or um, a rec center, places where that you could easily be discovered or even watched and things like that. Um, 
but again maybe something in pile number one would also kind of help you to um, have a couple of messages there but this is about being um, completely I mean she's like dressed and it's like well you can't really even see what's going on but people know what's going on if they were to see you right but uh, that element of shock it's just maybe that you go and you um, pull up your skirt right when they start having dinner or dessert and you surprise them I don't know and look there's a lot to do with your breasts so perhaps um, that's something that you can even think about and if it feels right to you in your situation you know it could be they have a fascination for your nipples and all of a sudden you I don't know you can buy some nipple tape to kind of tease them you can buy some tassels to kind of intrigue them or you could just um, really focus on like if you're having dinner like fixing your bra fixing your top or like really pinching your nipples whatever I mean it's gonna be individual sorry about the noise for everybody <laughs> okay the dump truck straight pulled up to my house which is really interesting because when I think about dump truck I think about like you must have a big badonk bunk right I mean, this is for my big booty ladies, big booty guys. And you know what? Guys do have big butts, too. Um, and a lot of us love that. So, oh gosh, that's kind of irritating. Sorry. Here, hold on. Okay. So this is again just bringing attention to you know maybe even you decide to get your nipples pierced or they are pierced you put different gems or jewelry on there or a nipple clasp anything to kind of stimulate that idea so I feel like your chest your breasts your pecs and your nipples can have a lot to do with um, things that are like really fascinating for your partner and even if you look at this coin like I really can't say much about that pictures worth a thousand words right there and so a picture can be worth a thousand words you can perhaps even take a picture like this and not show your face because once again everything can be put splayed on the internet splayed on the internet you get it um so you don't necessarily want to put yourself in a position no pun intended to where your photos can be used um and exploited and you could be potentially hurt or embarrassed or something that's not what we are going for, but this is, you know, something that we're looking at or wanting commitment perhaps from this person. I feel like in your pile it does uh, indicate that for sure. And um, for one or two of you, this can even tell me that your partner is into humiliation, that in order to commit, it's like you have kind of a, a dogmatic personality or a strong personality, and this is almost saying like, you know what, they want you to be the one to take charge, and you to be the one to kind of be boss in the bedroom, that kind of a thing, and you to be the one to say, you know what, you need to kind of please me um, and do it right now, and um even be kind of selfish about it and go okay yeah i'm done and then leave them wanting it and they're like what the hell what about me <laughs> okay so whatever your narrative um goes you only know your life and your body okay what else do we need to know how about pile number two capture the mind capture the attention and show me it now i feel like a little weaponizing sex here yeah interesting because um with this I thought and again you guys hopefully you're not super offended but even here with the fact that like the horse is like really turned on this can even indicate that some of you guys are into like pony play or horse play that um your partner would love for you or them to really have like a horse tail and I know they sell like you know butt plugs with horse tail tails or things like that or maybe they want to pretend that um, they're an animal while they are doing you or they um, would love that idea and so here it's like 
this person is blindfolded. It's like I can't see who is. It's like pretending to be other people than what you really are or even other like animals. Maybe some of them are into anime. If they love video games or anime and things like that, it might be a great idea for you to cosplay. And you can like totally change your makeup up to uh, fit the role of somebody different or just put on some cute little kitty ears or draw some whiskers and... Um, you know, you, all of a sudden, I'm getting all the five senses, okay? You could, like, really um, put a, I don't know, something to cover their eyes, and they could be like, meow, meow. So, whatever the case may be, you might just pretend that you're, like, a kitty, and, yeah, fulfill some sexual fantasies in that way. So, let that brain... Um, go where it might with those tidbits. You're welcome. What else do we need to know? Capture the mind. Capture the attention from a call number two. Call number two. Share me now. Hopefully these videos won't get deleted, but you never know. Five denarii. So this is about studying. This is about feeling actually um, left out in the cold. And so maybe, again, it might be that you might be able to um, give them something to kind of remember. I mean, it is what it is. Life is, you know, <laughs> it, people react differently, okay? So when you give them like their full attention and then you withdraw their attention, um, and, you know, guys are typically known to do this, but females can definitely do this as well. So you might leave them in a position where you withdraw your warmth, your light, even your attention for a little bit and allow them time to look at those photos and kind of wonder what's up. Don't be so easily available or especially don't be predictable. So when you do come together, allow for, you know, intermittent elements of surprises and things like that or just making sure that you are taking care of yourself as well like sexually physically mentally emotionally um and you can do that different ways of just making sure that you know you can just even ask i'm like okay well i need you today to worship me <laughs> and so um today you know use this honey to massage my legs or my body my breasts whatever the case may be or this special lotion that heats up, or this candle wax. Um, I'm gonna drip this candle wax on you with permission, of course. And uh, it's like a hot, hot candle wax that melts into an oil. So there's a lot that you can do. What else do we need to know for my pile number two? Capture the mind, capture the attention. Show me now. Okay. And so it's almost like she's got a little slave belt here, okay? And so there might be a lot to do with like spanking, with kneeling down, with being submissive, with blowing people's minds maybe. Um, first, for maybe one of you, this could be even um, leaning on people that are literally like physically underneath you and not allowing them to have any physical contact with you other than that so use your imagination but this is just really looking at you from behind enjoying the view and you being kind of unaware so it could be that you are just looking at things and looking for a balance trying to balance things out um and perhaps like you can you know i don't know i mean capture the mind capture attention could also be a scenario where you're taking time in your bedroom or the bathroom and you have pillows on the ground and you're like stark naked and having almost like a chain around your waist and you are like pleasing yourself or um doing penance or like pretend praying about something <laughs> or i don't know whatever the scenario you might just kind of play around with it and get different ideas and that way it's just like no warning no nothing and not even calling for engagement of the other person um you're totally like in your own world trying to kind of balance things out there so take that however you see it fit but i do feel like um some yeah so positions like this might be a real turn on for them and so again suggestions you can go ahead and like send you know i don't know do a tape or pictures like that from behind and you know again not not really showing your face because you don't 
really want that out there. Um, but just ideas for you. And, oh, okay, I lied. Two more. What else do we need to know about this connection? This, I desire a commitment. This is my ultimate dream, my desire. And we would like to capture the mind, capture the attention. Show me now. So make sure that whatever it is that they're tasting on your body, it tastes really delicious, okay? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So if you don't have anybody and you're just watching for the whole event, like I do because we get bored and we want to see what kind of spice is out there, just out of curiosity of what people have nerve to say, <laughs> you're not alone. Okay, so definitely stay optimistic about your love life, but it is going to be really important for you to get out there. Don't be offering things up to statues that can't offer anything back. And that is just straight common sense. Um, what else? Do we need to know about capture the mind, capture the attention? Show me now. Oh gosh, I saw this and I put it back in to mix it up. Here we go. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So clearing your energy, if you have any old letters, things like that, definitely release them. You have a lot of intuition here. Go with your gut. But you have new things coming to you, coming for you, coming with you. Um, if you so desire, take security and comfort in the here and now and not on just like a dream of what was or what could have been um because those things will really not last a lifetime they're not even lasting now because we're dreaming about them so anyways i hope that this was helpful if not helpful i hope it was entertaining much love to you namaste Hi, pile three, this message is for me. So if you chose clip three on the video, welcome to my channel. For your repeat offenders, thank you so much for stopping in, tuning in, seeing what's up, what the shenanigans is all about today. For you new people that are just here out of curiosity or the title brought you in or the um, thumbnail, whatever, Thanks for stopping in, and I hope that you all get what you need. No pun intended. And again, this reading is for adults only 18 and up. If you are squeamish, if you are sensitive, if you don't like to see kind of raw material, please click off. This message is not for you. Okay, this is not for everybody. <clears throat> so, pile number three. And if you're underage, click off right now. Go. I'm telling your mom. <laughs> okay. So power three. Capture the mind. Capture the attention. Show me now. The queen of wands. My favorite queen, actually. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got all choked up, literally. And it's actually really hot in here. I'm not joking about that part either. So the Queen of Wands really speaks to me about fire. About fire play. And maybe that's what kind of drew you even. The curiosity. On the clips that you had to choose from. Fire play. Um, it could be indicating like real playing with fire. Maybe you're a fire dancer or use one of them hoops. I think they're still called fire dancers. What do I know? But uh, <clears throat> really, that is one idea, a little expression. But also, it should be somebody who really has a lot of desire for stimulation, for excitement, for newness, for I'm reinventing almost the wheel. <clears throat> My throat chakra is something else right now. Um, so also this is somebody who is, I mean, she is featured alone here with a wand. And so maybe this is somebody who is not afraid just to please himself and, um, not, um, you know, wait around for other people to take care of his or her needs. There is that element here. We're going to see where this goes. I just had two jumpers. Oh my gosh, just like that. Okay, I didn't even get a chance to mix the cards. So, first card that came out is Eight Bastoni. So, traditional tarot, this is a lot of like fast messages, like coming at you hard and fast, no pun intended. But um, obviously, you can see what the focus is right here. So, perhaps this is saying that 
um, there is an oral fixation on your partner or they like to fixate on you orally. They love the way you taste and that's something that you can really offer them if you're comfortable and leave them with that memory. And uh, <clears throat> maybe sitting up on a table and like pulling up your skirt and letting them have a glimpse or whatever your thing is. I don't know. Okay. And then we have La Torre, the tower. And so we have the, you know, I mean, obviously it, you know, this is about pleasing each other and oral fixation. And this is just like a fixation. And he's, I think, dreaming. Okay. Is she going to put her mouth on it or what is the deal going on? Or is she just going to lean over and blow air? I don't know. That's just my take on it. But he's kind of like, hmm, I wonder where this is going to go. And so, you know, it's probably going to go in your mouth, that kind of a thing. But uh, <clears throat> so he just wants to lean back. This person wants to lean back and just see what happens. Now, with the tower, I always associate this with eruption, with climax, with ejaculation, things like that. It doesn't only have to be like male climax. It could be female climax, too. Um, yeah, so there's an element of like oral fixation. For sure, I feel like on you or your partner's mind or your potential partner. Let's see what else. Capture the mind, capture the attention. And this could be something that, for example, you exchange ideas or you show them that, yeah, you two are interested in like this, having ideas of what is going to like please you or, um, any of your oral fixation fantasies, communicating those things in creative ways, maybe sending pictures. And it's going to be as innocent as sending a picture of like, I don't know, like a ice cream sundae with a ton of whipped cream. And then you could just be playing with the whipped cream, not even showing your face, just playing on your plate and having a conversation over it about what you're thinking at that time so get creative it doesn't have to be like extremely lewd and crude but just you know leading up to it whatever um and there we have the three of swords the three of spades so this is about maybe somebody being somebody who wants to watch they want to really watch either you um please another or you please yourself whatever the case may be, or they're interested in kind of wanting to film those experiences with you. And that could be something that, um, you know, you want to do responsibly and you want to do it thoughtfully. Cause again, anything that you film can be placed on the internet. I mean, but look, you could get famous like the Kardashians. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was not nice, but you know what I'm talking about? I mean, if your face is out there and everything else is out there, it's easy to have that be to where everybody can have a looky loo at you. So be careful with things like that. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? My pile number three, clip number three. Show me now. I'm actually taking this one because it's protruding. Okay, so this could be saying that. Um, they want to feel like almost like a knight in shining armor. They want, they want to feel like they are the man that came to rescue you. Like you had no clothes on, no nothing. You were super vulnerable and they came and did their thing and took you away. That kind of a thing. Okay. And so you could even play like if you are into role playing or whatever, like the damsel in distress and, um, Okay, this is this could get really dark. I, I have like a dark brain, if you can't tell. But uh, you can even role play one of those scenarios, like pretending that you've been abducted, and this is you know might be really too heavy for some of you, and it might be beyond crossing the line. But um, you could be you know saying, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe you saved me," that kind of a thing, and like having like that duct tape or tape on like half of your mouth, like ripping it off when they walk in and you could just launch into this thing of, I'm so glad that you saved me. And, um, well, you might actually need to prepare them because they might think it's real. 
<laughs> so in that case, maybe don't spring that one up on them. But um, anyways, you see where I'm going with that. Just use your creativity, whatever it is that you fantasize about. Um, you know, whether you really even love to watch yourself from behind while they are on, on top of you or in you or whatever the case may be. So, so many different ways of going about this, okay? And so this is like dropping off armor. I feel like this has a lot to do with simply you being really even vulnerable, actually. This is interesting because I feel like your partner is saying, you know what, if you were more vulnerable with me, if you were to take off your clothes in front of me, not even literally, but figuratively, um, expressing what it is that like you desire or what gets you excited, gets you stimulated. And it doesn't have to be sexual, like your passions, your lust for life, your zeal. And yes, it could be sexual, of course. But I feel like this is saying that they will just kind of come at you differently and really look at you differently. And uh, that vulnerability of willing to be naked even, and pressing your body up against your own body while they're fully clothed, um, or just being in a vulnerable position of, you know, speaking your truth and things that you um, have not shared intimately with other people perhaps, or they feel like they haven't gotten to that side of you, even though you've been sexual, whatever the case may be, that is gonna really want to win you. They're gonna wanna win you. Their brain is engaged, I feel, and they're gonna feel some sort of way, some sort of cavalier way, which really sounds interesting because I didn't expect that to come up. Um, and I think it'll be, you know, oscillating between like having a lot of fire and excitement and then a lot of like vulnerability, like sharing of yourself and things like that. <clears throat> I'm even being led to look at my picture. And to me, it seems like um, it's almost like drowning. So sharing in the things that have drowned you mentally, emotionally, spiritually can be really be a turn off because then this person gets to really know the depth of you, not just your body. And I heard... <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Okay, not just your body, but being laid bare. And I feel like just being vulnerable is going to allow your person or whoever's on your mind to really allow the sun to shine on you, to bring out like less mystery, more genuineness, more authenticity, more um, a willingness to be vulnerable in front of you. And that in itself um, can really actually be a turn on. It's like, yeah, I've always wanted to do that too. Or... I can't believe you shared that with me. That was really vulnerable of you or anything like that. But I feel like that can take you on a spiritual plane even higher. And I almost feel like this is a wand too or a rod of some sort. And I feel like that sexual connection, that sexual chemistry will intensify. It will actually unify you guys even more than you thought, even more than like any sex act could. Okay, so this person is, um, is pretty deep, okay? Next I have is this one. It was just sitting up. I was going to shuffle, but I didn't have to because apparently this is where we left off. Where we left off is we are serving other people at the table. And it's just like, you know, hey, we're serving spirits, water, whatever the case may be, while somebody else is just busy. And indeed, you're busy too. And so this could be saying that they would just really love to taste you every, actually, well, duh, look. They would love to put their tongue in you. They would love to feel um, your delicate tissue. They would love to feel your texture. They want to savor your flavor. They wonder if you're as sweet and delicious as how you look. Um, they wonder also, because I'm seeing the fluid right here, like how wet you would get. Um, they wonder also if you would just be completely wet or if you're somebody who can score or if they can make you score. So I feel like this would lead to all different sorts of things, okay? Um, again, that oral fixation. So I feel like that could be a lot of fun for you guys. What else do we need to know? I feel like they love the way that you are regal, the way that you're fiery, passionate, and yet you're vulnerable. So adding that vulnerable element, don't forget about that because that I feel like is key in your reading, okay? For pile number three, capture the mind, capture the attention. Show me now. Look, what I tell you, oral fixation. And a little bit of role playing, it feels like um, this person could be, you know, 
like, I don't even know if I could say that word. Funny, I've said all these other dirty words and I don't question it, but I don't even know if you could say just like assault, like assaulting a person, but I'm feeling like obviously this is more like in a role playing vibe. Um, so if that's your thing and you can have actual fun with it, that's one thing. Um, but if it causes psychological distress or physical distress or discomfort or hesitancy, then definitely don't. But um, here, this is even um, thinking they might even fantasize about walking into the shower and like catching you showering and you'd be like, oh no, don't, <laughs> you know, I'm such a bad actress, I would never get hired. But, um, oh no, you know, somebody broke into my house and now they're, I'm in the shower and I have no clothes. And once again, that's referencing the nakedness and the vulnerability and that kind of a thing. And um, there could be something to do with like when you speak, they just frequently look at your mouth and they wonder, and it's an oral fixation once again, and they wonder if your lips are the same color of your nips or of your nether regions. So different things like that. I mean, who knows what is on the mind of other people when they're looking at you, but I definitely feel like there could be that element of fascination um, also having your breasts like really be wet or, um, wondering if they could just turn you on with, uh, some role play or playing with your lips or sticking their finger in your lips, around your lips, or playing with your saliva. Some people, it's a thing you guys, I'm not making it up. Um, do like spit play or drool, like drooling is really hot in some communities. If it's your thing, it is, if it ain't, it ain't okay. Don't judge me. Don't you judge me. You're you're the one looking at this, okay? You have plenty of warning. Click off. So here we are together. So um, again, it could be something that uh, they're interested in, maybe. Um, and if this is something that they're not initiating, is something that you really want to do, then you can even grasp their hand and go, "Can you please kind of." You know, put your hand around my mouth, or around my throat, if you're into like choking or airplay or uh, breath play, whatever they call it, anything like that, you can actually teach them or show them and, um, you know, start putting your tongue in between their fingers and things like that um, to help them to just really feel like they have power and that maybe you are just helplessly hot for them. I don't know. So these are different ideas. Any of this you can take and tweak to like the far extreme that you want and uh, that you have like even like wrangle each other physically um, to where then they pin you down, you know, um, and you know, they they start playing with your mouth and you start having, you know, talking dirty to each other. Or it could be just as gentle as like having lunch and licking your fork and kissing their hand and licking their fingers or whatever. So whatever extreme and whatever uh, degree you can take this in. But the thing is just showing kind of passion and excitement also because I wouldn't be surprised if she was actually fingering herself here. So that's just me or my brain. I don't know. What else do we need to know about this connection for pile three? Capture the world, capture the attention. Show me now. These images, this was given to me by a friend and she, we just laughed. I mean, her reaction made me laugh and we just cracked up the whole time. But uh, Cinco Bastoni ones, anyways, the five foot ones. And so this could be competition, this could be wrestling, this could be like, let me just disrobe you quickly. Um, anything like that, this could be just, I want to be fully dressed while I look and see what you're currently wearing. What do you look like? Put your butt up against me and I just want to feel you even for a minute. I feel like there's that sensual, like if you're more on the curvy side, they love to be able to squeeze you, squeeze your butt, squeeze your body and have you pressing up and nuzzling up against them. Almost like for warmth or like innocently, but not so innocently. 
um, and things like that. And it's almost like it kind of ignites something in them that they think, well, I definitely want you to remember me when you sit down, that kind of a thing. Whether you're male or female, or male, male, or female, female, it doesn't make a difference, okay? What else do we have? Now, some of them can be really obsessed with the belly. If you have a little bit of a belly, they might even really like that. So don't be too shy about it. And I think you'll know. I think you'll know, okay? Yep, here we go again. They might really enjoy your thighs, your butt, your punani, your breasts, like the whole female form and body. And uh, it's almost like they enjoy the idea of, okay, we don't have a lot of time. And all of a sudden now you give me everything like literally on a platter and they're kind of shocked by that. And it's like I have a really important Zoom meeting or a really important business meeting, but you can make them really super uncomfortable and distracted by doing things like that in a fun way, of course, when it's appropriate. They might even like to look at the curve of your neck to be able to pull your hair up and just look at your whole body. Um, they might just like to see you naked, period, okay? So this might be where um, you would be able to send them, you know, different poses. Even for those of us who have more cushion for the cushion, we can learn how to pose, um, you know, in states of nakedness or whatever in a way that's more flattering, that we feel more secure whatever the case may be but i feel a really even though he's looking at her leg and her calf and her knee i feel like there's a real emphasis on your butt like anything that makes your butt look even bigger like juicier and bigger is better and i'm thinking that this person let's see if it comes up because not only would they like to eat the front but they'd like to eat the back okay Yeah, so they would like to give you the orgasm and the asgasm as well. So, capture the mind, capture the attention. What else do we have? Or pile number three, show me now. <laughs> okay, a little bit of smothering, a little bit of, oh my gosh, you're too much. A little bit of... Um, hurry up, I have to go, that kind of an energy, again, with the butt, again, with role playing, with potentially um, just wanting to put your weight on them would really feel good, and also public dis displays of erection, <laughs> I just made that up, you're welcome, um, but really just having sex in the most unexpected places, okay, with maybe even people in your home and they, you know, have no idea what's going on, that kind of a fantasy type thing. So we have the seven of spades. So this could be saying that there is a wall. It, you could be like distance, or you could be somebody who is so self-contained, or they could be so self-contained that they don't even know how to approach you, or what, how to bring down that wall, okay? This to me is a, almost like another tower, okay? So what else do we need to know for pile number three? Last message for pile number three. Oh, no, two more. Three more messages. Show me now. <clears throat> yeah, look. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just laughed. These crack me up. This is like, oh my gosh, we're caught. Or my mom just got home. Or somebody just got home. I'm throwing you out the window. I don't even care if I live 20 stories up. You're going. <laughs> So this person is trying to get rid of all the evidence and it just makes me laugh, okay? Um, now right here, it looks like this is like an angel or another lady. I don't know what's going on here, but it is clear that she um, is kicking him out and is he dressed? I don't, I can't tell if that is, who does not wearing the glasses? Hold on. I can't tell if he's... <laughs> Nope, he's definitely not dressed. It looked like a shirt for a moment. But um, definitely you guys doing the deed and there's a need to hide evidence. Almost like, oh, my lover uh, needs to leave right now because my parents got home or my roommate got home or um, <clears throat> my boss is here where they left the office for a moment and you literally came, no pun intended, so out the window you go. So there's an element of like, oh my gosh, 
I be evidence type thing. Okay, so for pile number three, last two messages for real. So now, okay, this is sideways flirt. Extend your light heart and energy to others. And this is a little bit on its side. So it's like flirting and don't flirt. So maybe flirting and retracting your attention a little bit, not giving a ton of attention. This is saying, and love yourself first. Your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. So during all of these scenarios, I want you to keep in mind it's important to respect yourself, your own body. Um, and if you're okay with something, that's great. If you are definitely not okay with something, there is no point in even going there. Please do not disrespect your body, your mind, your soul with uh, doing things that just really is not you, okay? Example, if your partner says, I want somebody else to watch while we do it or whatever the case may be and you're not okay with it, the answer is no. Um, but everything, you know, capture the mind, capture the attention. These are just ideas, okay? These are simply ideas. This is even you. You could be pretending, you know, like getting undressed and then getting caught in your clothes and asking for help and things like that. So there's so many different ways of looking at this and going through things, okay? So with that, I won't leave you. I hope you enjoyed this kind of reading. If you did, please do smash that like button, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And if you did not like it, well, then let me know what you'd like to see. Much love to you. Namaste.